Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna give everybody a chance to go ahead and get in so we can get started. So excited. All right. Hello TJ, hello Autumn, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you guys back. Hi. So today, we are making my potato salad, okay? It's gonna be good, too. It's gonna be so good. All right. So since I have you guys here, you're my faithful, too. Huh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started, all right? Uh, of course, I'm getting I'm making my potato salad. All right, I have already cooked, washed, chopped up, you know, all the things with the potatoes. Um, some of the things to know about uh, making potato salad when you're doing your potatoes, one of the things you want to do is make sure that it is bite size, okay? Nothing's worse than having huge chunks of potatoes in your potato salad. Um, I did use a, a Melody, so it has... Um, red potatoes and, and golden potatoes in, in my mix. Um, they were petite and it's just me, which is why I kind of chose this because um, this is a pound and a half of potatoes. I mean, I don't need but so much, okay? Uh, however, you can use whatever kind of potato you want. Um, it doesn't matter if you're using rusted, um, red, yellow, you know, golden, whatever it is, potato kind of potato you choose to use, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it is bite size. And remember that um, when you're cooking your potatoes, uh, you're not making mashed potatoes, okay? So you do not want to overcook your potatoes, all right? Um, in addition to, give your potatoes time to chill, okay? This will eliminate having that hot potato salad you know, um, situation. All of my ingredients are chilled, okay, because um, I'm not, so I'm not making this fresh, okay. However, if you are in the situation, you are making this fresh, make sure that you are um, giving your time, giving your potatoes time to cool, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my potatoes in this bowl here, all right. Now, let's talk about some of the things that I have to cook with it. So I have a little bit of Lowry's here, okay, that's going to be some of my salt. I have a small amount of celery seed. Please do not confuse this with celery salt, okay? This is uh, celery seed. Let me show you what it looks like. If I can find it. Right. So it is celery seed, okay? You do not want to have... Um, yeah, I hate one potato salad too. It's disgusting. Um, you want to make sure you're not using celery salt. It is different than celery seed, okay? Uh, also, on top of that, celery seed, celery salt, both of them are very strong flavors. You want to use a small amount of it, all right? You do not, a, a little goes a long way with celery, okay? We also have some black pepper here and then our normal garlic powder, onion powder, all right? So let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and shake that up and just go ahead and sprinkle that all on there. Use my, my wooden spoon to get it off, all right? And then I also have about a good cup of uh, mayo. I have about two, uh, about a tablespoon of mustard. Now I'm using Dijon because that's just what I had. However, if you use yellow mustard, you can use a little bit more if you want. But Dijon has a, a Dijon mustard. Um, actually, this is Grey Poupon. Let me let me take that back. This is Grey Poupon. So Grey Poupon is kind of spicy. So I'm not really going too heavy on the mustard. Um, you can go a little more, a little heavier on it if you have like a yellow mustard, like a French or whatever it is that you use. Okay, but I'm using just a smaller amount because of the. Um, if you know anything about mustard, if the fresher it is, if it has any um, grind, grain, if it's grain mustard, it is going to be stronger and, and have a lot more pack and powerful. It's going to be very powerful, okay? I also have some relish here, all right? And we have about a good two tablespoons of relish, maybe three, maybe three. All right, we'll go ahead and put that in here as well. No, I'm not mixing anything up just yet, okay? 
I'm not mixing anything up just yet. Especially since I have that mustard and stuff in there. I want to make sure I get all the ingredients in there and then I'm going to mix it. Alright. Now, next up. It's off. Alright. So, I like eggs in my potato salad. Alright. I'm a fan of it. That's just my preference. Um, I have some green onion here. I am a fan of red onion, white onion, whatever kind of onion that you choose. Um, I just wanted something a little milder in onion flavor, I guess you could say. So I chose to use green onion. I had some available too, so I used what was in my refrigerator, all right? And then last, we do have some celery. Um, the thing about the celery, make sure it is cut, it, everything that you use, you wanna make sure it's kind of bite size. all right? You do not want an overly chunky um, potato salad. It just makes it complex, all right? When you have a lot of crunch, okay? Um, if you do use a red onion, keep in mind it is gonna add a, a extra crunch to your potato salad. So if you're with um, kids that don't like, you know, raw onion, they're not big fans of like, you know, that crunchy onion, you might wanna think about it. Um, green onion is a lot softer. And again, it's just a little more mild in the onion, okay, onion palette. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that on in here. All right, get that in there. All right, now I'm gonna mix this up, but I'm not finished yet. But I just wanna go ahead and mix this up, get those flavors starting to marinate, right? Looks like this, right? It, you may need to add a little bit of mayo depending on the amount of potatoes that you have. All right, this is for about a pound and a half of potatoes that I am dealing with, okay? So it is a good pound of potatoes. Keeping in mind that all my things are chilled. So my mayo, my relish, my mustard, um, my onion, everything has been in the refrigerator, okay? I have not taken it out. You can do a little more egg if you want to. I didn't want to go too crazy on the egg, um, but it is up to you. I am, so there's two other things that I like to add to it, okay? One is paprika. I kind of do this at the end because I, I want to sprinkle it on the top once it's all good and mixed in, all right? And then the last thing that I'm using, I have mixed. This is vinegar, okay? And I used apple cider vinegar. And then just a regular old-fashioned cheap sugar, okay? White sugar. You do not want to use brown sugar in this mix. Um... You know, other raw sugars, um, aside from white sugar, it's a lot sweeter, if you know anything else. And you don't want overly sweet um, potato salad. Also, keep in mind that it's going to change the color of your potato salad if you do use a cane sugar of any kind, uh, brown sugar, which is not what we really want, okay? Uh, something something else you could use, a secondary option is a red wine, okay? My mom loves red wine um, in her potato salad. It's actually, actually very amazing. Um, the, what I'm doing now is kind of like an old fashioned um, potato salad. And I'm gonna say I used about two caps capsules of this vinegar and when I say capsules I'm really talking about the lid okay so two lids fulls of this um, of that vinegar okay and we're gonna go ahead and pour it in there and now we're gonna mix it up you want to be very light with the vinegar okay it is going to thin it out a little bit so you don't want watery potato salad okay Watery potato salad is absolutely disgusting. If you let it sit overnight, it is the best potato salad, okay? Because it's actually marinated. And also, um, it's gonna, those potatoes are gonna absorb some of this um, mayo and things like that. So it will kind of stiffen up, which is, I, I love it. I love a good stiff um, potato salad personally I do not like watery soupy potato salad okay this is what my potato salad is looking like right now all right so see stick stick into it it's not sliding off too watery all right it's pretty good all right but we're going to drink our red wine today salute 
And now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of paprika. And I'm going to sprinkle it over here on top of it. Just a little bit, a little light dusting. Kind of just layer that, that top of it, that top layer of it, if you can see it. Okay. Go ahead, mix it in a little bit. I'm going to get that good, pretty color. All right. That good color of it. And I'm going to add just a little more pepper. All right. I like to see a little bit of pepper on my on my potato salad. Okay. And that is really, that is it. Okay. Get it good and mixed. All right. Now, usually I would let this sit overnight, at least for a few hours, um, and let, like, like I said, those potatoes kind of absorb some of these flavors, absorb some of this mayo, things like that. Um, so keep that in mind if it is just a little on the watery side, but you're like, it's not that bad, let it sit overnight. That texture is going to totally change, um, and it will probably be balanced by the time you let it sit in the refrigerator. So let's see what it's tasting like, though. Let's check this flavor. Oh, sorry, Dad. Amen. Mmm. Mmm. Girl, listen, it's been so long since I had potato salad. This just tastes like home. Mmm. That crunch is there. That flavor is there. I didn't add too much salt. Some people may want to add just a little more salt, but it's perfect for me. Mmm. That's good. Don't double dip if this is for someone, okay? I double dip because it's just me. Okay. Great. So we're going to let that sit. I'm going to take it over here. I'm going to show y'all something else that I made. Alright, so I made some... First, I got these little cute baskets. Like, ha! <laughs> How cute, right? Oh my gosh. I just thought they were so adorable. All right, I got them from Dollar Tree. They had like four for a dollar. So I was super excited about them because I'm like, oh my gosh, how cute are they? I made some crispy air fryer barbecue chicken, okay? When I tell you this chicken, okay, I I need to, I just, I'm, I'm never going to lose weight, okay? Because I... I just be doing the most but um what I did was made my own barbecue mix I'll show you what I put in it show you some of the things that I put together in it I did do a little reel um so if you go to my um, main page like my actual reel page um, if you're my friend you'll see uh, me make this but basically um you know you have your chicken wings i seasoned it i put a good oil on it olive oil okay basics um whether you use lowry's you know i'm an old bay girl because you know it's a merlin thing and uh onion powder whatever however it is that you season it um air fryer on 400 and you want to do 15 minutes on one side flip it do five minutes more on that other side to kind of keep it keep it even take it out put the barbecue sauce on it let it cook for another three minutes okay so what i did to make the barbecue sauce is i'm always reinventing barbecue sauce so i never spend a lot of money on it i just have a basic cheap craft hickory smoke all right um, my friend Peggy had gifted me this hot sauce, okay? If you don't know anything about me, I love hot sauce, okay? This hot sauce is the real deal, okay? This hot sauce is so hot that I've been playing with it for a while to kind of find some ways to incorporate it into things because I definitely cannot just eat it by itself. It is extremely hot. But I mix that in the barbecue sauce in addition to this Mike's Honey um, Hot Honey. Child, that mix. All right, let me just let me just let me just taste it in front of y'all so you can see what I mean. Okay, let, you'll hear a little bit of a crunch to it. Could you hear that? Oh my god, girl, girl. It is 
so good. Do you hear me? This chicken is so moist. It is so flavorful. I mean, I just want to stop this live right now just so you can so you can just not watch me eat this, okay? It is absolutely it is delicious, okay? It is a little on the hot side, but I like it that way. But that hot honey mixed with that haze fire source hot sauce I got, phenomenal, all right? Phenomenal. And the hickory smoke, it gives it like that smoky smokiness to it. Tastes like straight barbecue chicken, all right? And that air fryer crisp it up so good, like, oh, okay. I'm about to go be fat and eat. I just wanted to make this quick live for y'all. Hopefully this was useful. Hopefully it's helpful. Y'all got some questions? Let me know. I feel like I went through this one kind of fast, all right? How are we feeling? Yes, you do, Autumn. Hi, Tinge! Welcome, welcome! Tinge, I went through this live so fast, girl. But I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you watch me eat this chicken now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause so you don't put sugar in the potato salad. You actually mix the sugar with the vinegar. Those two combined together, it creates a um it creates a balance of some kind it's kind of hard to explain it's just like one of them chemistry things um when you mix those two things together with the relish and the mayo and the potatoes and it just brings the flavor out same thing with why they would use the red wine okay it's just um something about adding that extra element to the potato salad it just it, it just brings it could just brings every all the flavors together and it just makes it taste very 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 good um, Tanj, let me show you the potato salad. I went through it. Even the little bit of time we had. Let's wash this off. Even though I used it. Quick. And Tanj, I was letting them know I have on my other page, I did a, a, a reel for air fryer barbecue chicken. I will definitely go to, uh, check it out. All right. So this is the potato salad, Tanj. It was a quick and easy show. All right. So what I did was um, I had uh, potatoes, of course. I used yellow and red mix. They were petite. This is about a pound and a half of potatoes. Um, I used green onion. I chopped up some celery, um, and I also have some egg in here as well. Relish. I did use Grey Poupon mustard, but I would, I honestly would suggest maybe yellow mustard because you can use a little bit more, and because of you can use a little bit more, the color and the tint of the potato salad will just be a little more familiar, I feel. I have to be kind of light with the Grey Poupon. Any grain mustard that you may use, um, it's going to be very strong, so you can't use as much. Some of the um, seasonings that I used, I did use celery seed, okay? Very minimal. I used like maybe a fourth teaspoon, a fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed. Um, we have some uh, ground pepper, of course, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, I use Lowry's as my salt base. And I use maybe about, I will say a tablespoon or two, maybe probably a tablespoon actually of potato salad because I didn't have that much of it. And then of course, don't forget your paprika, okay? You could use a little bit more of it. I didn't go too crazy because um, I like just a good sprinkle at the top. One of the things we talked about is just making sure one, when you cook your potatoes, you don't want to overcook it, okay? Some of the worst things you can have is um, like, you know, um, 
chunky, you know, mashed potato, potato salad. Nobody wants mushy potato salad, right? We want texture in those potatoes. Um, and then secondary to that, make sure that you're allowing your potatoes to cool off, all right? Um, the second worst thing is having a warm potato salad. Nobody wants hot potato salad. It's disgusting. So here we are a few minutes later. Girl, but back to this chicken, okay? Because, listen. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Listen. This is good, okay? I really shouldn't be sitting here eating this on this live. But... If y'all want to come over and have some plate, you let me know. Because it's that good. It is that good. I don't know why I could cook like this. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. And that's it for today. I just want to share that with y'all. See, it's so simple. It's so easy. I promise you people be doing the most potato salad. I had to save the world. I just wanted to save the world one potato salad at a time. You're welcome. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I hope you have a great Memorial Day. Make sure you don't drink and drive. Okay, don't do drugs. Say no to drugs. They're no good for you. I love you guys so much. I'll be back to see you guys soon. Until next week. Bye.